that said, you popularized the asymptotic notation for describing running time. Obviously, in the analysis of algorithms, worst case is such a such an important part. Do you see any aspects of uh, that kind of analysis is lacking? Uh, so and notation too. Well, well the the main pur purpose we have notations that that help us uh, for the problems we want to solve, and so that right. th they match our they, they match our intuitions. And uh, people who worked in number theory had used uh, asymptotic notation in what in a, in a certain way, but it was only known to a small group of people. And and I realized that. In fact, it was very useful to be able to have a notation for something that we don't know exactly what it is, but we only know p partial about it. And so, instead, so uh, for example, instead of big O notation, let's just mm. let's just take a, a much simpler notation where I'd say zero or one, um, or, or or zero one or two. And suppose that, suppose that, that uh, uh, when I had been in high school, we would be allowed to put in the middle of our formula. X plus zero one or two mm -hmm. <laughs> equals uh, y. Okay, and and, and then, then we we would learn how to multiply two such expressions together and and you know uh, uh, deal with them. Uh, well, the same thing. Big O notation says uh, here's something that's uh, I, I'm not sure what it is, but I know it's not too big. Uh, I know it's not bigger than some constant times n squared or something like that. Right. And so so I write big O of n squared. Now I, I learn how to add big O of n squared to big O of n cubed, and I know how to add big O of n squared to uh, plus one and square that, and how to take logarithm exponentials and have big O's in the middle of them. And that turned out to be uh, hugely valuable in, in all of the work that I was trying to do as I'm trying to figure out how good an algorithm is.